Welcome to another episode of the Measy Show. I'm your host with the most. Now, before we begin, please, before we begin, hit that subscribe and that like button for me. Let me know that you are a citizen, a trooper, a real supporter of my channel. In addition to that, if you could hit the post notification bell, that way anytime I drop something new, something trending, something that may pique your interest, you will be one of the first ones to view it. Now, uh, apparently, Diddy's accuser, one of his many accusers, uh, was supposedly paid off uh, either 2.3 or 23 million dollars for the whole accusations to go away. Now this accuser wasn't a woman, right? It wasn't a, a transgender. It was a male, right? It was a male, someone with testicalias, okay? So uh, Gene Deal went on the Art of Dialogue and he went ahead and spoke on it. So we're going to hear him out and then from there we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and peek in and out for uh, feedback. So here we go. You heard about that guy that sued Diddy for a hundred million? My man, I heard about it. I, I even I even watched the whole interview that they had. Um Derek Lee claims that in nineteen ninety seven Diddy ripped him. I know <laughs> I remind you. He ripped this is a the man. grown ass man. Yo, he was a bartender. He said uh, and, and I don't want people to think that I think that's funny, but the shit is funny. <laughs> he said, he said, it's sad. He said that he was invited to a party and it was girls there. It was guys there. Things got freaky. You understand? Uh, Things always he's a bartender. He said that, uh, he was drinking Jim Bean and, uh, Diddy brought him a drink over, and then uh, Diddy told him, I put a little something extra in there, and he said, uh, <laughs> 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 I'm, he laughing, I'm so really, bro, let's think about this, he's laughing, and yeah, not knowing the person, maybe you might chuckle a little bit, but overall, this isn't even funny, really, if you really think about it, they saying that Diddy forcibly entered the anus I got neighbors. The anus of a male, right? That's not cool, bro. That's not even really a laughable matter, if I'm being honest. Sorry, man. He said he, he woke up <laughs> butt naked with his thong gone. <laughs> no, no, he didn't say, no, he didn't say that, bro. But he said he woke up and did he told him he had him. He said he went. He said he, he went. He filed a report, man. but they threw it up under the, the, the cops swept it up under the rug and everything like Sounds that. Sounds about right. So, um, he was suing Diddy and everything like that. So he said that, uh, Diddy came to the, uh, jail and said that, hey. So real quick, just for context, this man was in jail after the fact. And they're saying that Diddy and his representative, his attorney, whatever, approached him with an offer to drop it. So that's what he's talking about. I'll give you $2.3 million or something like that. Or 23. I don't know if it's 2.3 or $23 million to make this go away. We'll leave this alone the whole night. Yo, just like I just said, he's going to pay. He's trying to pay people off to make things go away for them to drop their suits and everything like that. You know what I mean? And if he does that, if they, they, they civil suit. Drop them, make them go away. What would it take? So this particular dude said that Diddy was trying to sell properties and sell things and stop him from uh, getting his money. And I didn't understand that. But the judge found some validity in what he was saying and said, yo, I'm going to give you a 90 day restraining order against him from selling anything <coughs> until uh, you get all your paperwork in correct because Diddy was served in the whole nine yard. And as it was said that Diddy and his representative did come to the jail. So if the, if the guy didn't have no no lawsuit, if the guy wasn't, if, if, the, if, if his stuff wasn't truthful, why would they entertain it? The judge entertain it? Did why would it be? That's a great question. Why would it be? If, if there was no validity to the man's claims that he was forcibly entered, why would 
Diddy and the attorney go to the, the, the jail to visit this man. This is documented, right? As far as what happened in the visit, we don't know. We just know that when you, anybody ever been in jail, you know you sign in, you sign out. When you visit, you show your government-issued ID and you go in. And then you get your ID back and you go out. So this is not refutable. Now, what was said in there, there could be speculation. But what else would they visit him for? This man's accusing you. Why would you and your attorney go and visit him? Use your brain. The lawyers do entertain and did he entertain? So, so, it may be some truth to it. But, this dude is ripping grown men. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, we can laugh at it, but, you know, it sounds like it's true. <laughs> I mean... Hey, I mean, I'm looking at it right now, and did he did go to prison, and he offered the inmate two point three million to settle the case. Yeah, so that's what the paperwork right? said, and the judge, and the judge must have thought he had some validity into what he was saying. What the judge do? He granted him the restraint. So the judge did it, and he granted him that right. But the, these, these are this is the disturbing part. When you go visit somebody in jail, you sign your name in. You give your government issued identification card, okay? So this is either a passport or a state ID in most cases. So you can't say, oh, Sean Diddy Combs, Sean Combs, that's not me. No, it was you that went to visit this man who accused you of scrisnaping him, right? And then your lawyer came with you. If it was on a friendly tip, why would you bring your lawyer? So they both visited and made an offer. This is the offer part, I, I suppose... There's a little wiggle room to dispute that, but why else would you visit him? You get what I'm saying? So that that holds like it sounds like a holds some water to me. From Diddy selling the properties until the dudes get his paperwork and everything in. You heard about Diddy Law Firm breaking charges with him and Miami Beach taking his day away. Well, all the things that happened to Diddy and he losing friends, companies. City, city names, city girls. I think he should uh, become an altar boy for T.D. Jakes and give us and, 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 and let T.D. Jakes, you know, put some hands on him. And so real quick, just to give some context of what he's saying, T.D. Jakes was also accused of some strange things uh, in relation to the whole Diddy and uh, you know, unlawfully touching men and stuff like that. So that's where that's coming in at. Probably save himself and save his soul. I think that's what he should do. I think that he should really consider getting into the church. Yo, listen here, man. Oh, we're listening. Do like Russell Simmons. I don't think they have a charge like that over in Bali. Hmm. So, all right. So that's that, right? So that's not refutable as far as the visit. Pub Daddy, Sean Combs, and his legal representation went to a jail, signed in, handed their ID or passport, and visited a man who was accusing Diddy, put Sean Combs, of Scrizz actually assaulting him, right? So with that being the case, that's not refutable and it's supposed to be 2.3 million now what was said they could be they could dispute that to a degree but common sense will tell you if someone's accusing you of something why would you visit that person with your lawyer come on man and then with the drink come on i, I would never ever in my life take a drink from diddy yeah, i don't care if he offered if i don't care if i'm in the desert it's ain't no modern water for 500 miles in any direction i'm not taking i will rather die than take a drink from diddy and I'm sure this guy wishes he would have did the same thing. So I don't know, man. We don't know exactly what happened, but we know for sure, without doubt, that they visited him. So common sense would tell you that it is to make an offer. And the judge granted some sort of thing uh, on behalf of the guy. So whatever the situation, I don't know. You, you can let me know what you think in the comments. I'll let y'all be the judge. But overall, I strongly believe that there was some validity to this. Tell me what you think. I appreciate you for watching. Uh, for all you people going to Diddy parties, be careful, man. Don't drink no open drinks. Don't even, I would, don't even go. But if you do, don't drink an open drink, right? Don't take no food. Don't take nothing that could be uh, dropped with a little bit of Diddy juice. 
that's all I got for you for right now. I appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all have a great day. I'm gone. Salute.